Hey guys, it's Marcus here from blogprofitnetwork.com. You can check out blogprofitnetwork.com for all your blogging needs to learn how to make money with blogs, put plugins, all that stuff. Check it out, opt in, get webinars and everything. But right now, today, I'd like to show you how affiliate blogging works. Because I know a lot of people get hung up on all the ins and outs, like how do I make money? How do I set up a blog? Who's going to pay me? And things like that. So what I'm gonna do, and you can see here that Obviously, the kids were in the office because they thought you would like a Kermie and some kind of weird dancing lady. So, we'll get rid of these and we'll show you all the ins and outs of online blogging for profit. Okay, and I want to give you a little overview because I think the biggest hang up that people have is, you know, how do I get traffic? What kind of traffic do I get? You know, everything like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of give you like a flow chart. Okay? Very nice sound there, right? All right, so we'll do a flow chart here, and hopefully we are nice and dry on the whiteboard so we don't get it weird looking. All right, there we go. So we'll do a flow chart here, and up here what we're going to have is traffic. Okay, this is all your traffic. Okay, this, this is every bit of traffic, all the things that you've heard from Google to Facebook, right? So we'll do like Google, Facebook, links. MSN, you know, everything. Basically, every way you could think of to get traffic is under this traffic area. Okay, now what happens is now you're taking this traffic, and I'll draw like a nice little arrow here, and the dog is barking, but please pardon her. She doesn't mean to be annoying, right? So here we have all our traffic coming in, and all our traffic is everything that we do. It could be YouTube traffic, social media traffic, article marketing, whatever. Right, and everything here, this traffic, right, is now coming to our blog. So you remember in the beginning of this video where I said, you know, check out blogprofitnetwork.com, which that would now be my blog because you're checking out the blog. So this is the blog here, okay? So the traffic is all based on what you want, like who you want, right? You don't want to just go for Google or Facebook because somebody told you that that's the best way to get traffic. You want traffic that fits where your people are, right? So if you find out the people that like cooking, like to watch videos, then you'd probably use YouTube as a traffic method. Or if you find out that, you know, everyone's hanging out on Facebook, checking out Bible verses, and your blog's about Bible verses, then that's going to be the best way for you. So don't choose a traffic method based on what you think is best based on what other people say, choose one based on where your target market is. It's kind of like if I was going to go and sell snow cones, right? I wouldn't want to sell those in Alaska where there's tons of snow. I would want to sell those in like Arizona or here in Vacaville or something like that, right? So here's our blog, okay? And we got people to our blog. So here's the people, we'll put these people here, people with messed up heads, right? Put all these people here. And all these people are now coming to our blog, which is great. It's like, cool, all these people are now on our blog. So now what? What do we do with them? Right? How do we turn this into money? And I'll get my green pen so we can write little money signs over here, right? Because what we want to do is we want to turn these people into money. Right? We've got to get them to click on things that pay us. We've got to get them to do things that pay us, right? So now, in order to do that, these people came here for a reason. So if they came here for Bible verses or recipes or cooking videos or whatever, we need to now give that to them, right? So they come to our site, and whatever you use to get them to your site, if it's a YouTube video, if it's a Google ad, whatever it is, you need to be congruent. Right? You need to take them and say, okay, well, you came to my site because you clicked on the word, you know, recipe video. So now on your blog, you need to have a recipe video, right? And I'll try to draw a little video there, right? So you got to have that recipe video, okay? Now the job of this recipe video is number one is to inform your visitors. So you want to tell these people, hey, check it out. Here's how to do this. Here's how to set this up. Here's how to build this. Here's how to make a cake. Here's how to make steak. Here's how to break, right? Whatever it is, you must tell them what it is and they must be able to see the reason. You have to reiterate the reason they're on your site and they have to see that right away. Okay, now once they are there, the idea, the job of the content, right? Content is to be consumed. 
right? The job of the content is to be consumed, like a TV show or a newspaper article. You want the user to consume it and learn about it. Now, also, just like I'm doing in this video, right, is you want to take them from the video to the blog, right, or from your, you want to take your traffic to your blog, they consume your content, and your content gets them to do something that pays you. All right, there's several ways that we could do this. I need a different color here, right? And we can do this several different ways. You might have heard of AdSense. Okay, so one of the ways that you can make money is using AdSense. Okay, now the way AdSense works is basically Google gives you a code, right? A little code, weird looking code, and you can put that on your blog. You can put it in the sidebar, AdSense, right? Or you could put it below your video. And the idea of AdSense is to get them to click on ads, and now you are paid just when they click. So you get paid if they click. Now the issue with AdSense is it's not always that targeted, and you don't always make that much money, right? Because if I'm gonna teach cooking, all right, it's probably just gonna go to recipe ads or something, and I'll make like a dollar every nine bazillion people who come to my site. Okay, now it is a good way to supplement your income. That's all fine, that's all good. Another way, one of my favorite ways, is to use CPA marketing, right? CPA marketing. And what you do with CPA marketing is now in my video, just like I'm doing on this video, is you say, hey, check it out. Here is how you make the best noodles ever, right? And you show them how to make the noodles. You show them the noodles, okay? And you say, by the way, at the end of the video, you say, by the way, the way that I make my noodles, I don't use one of those colanders. I use the chef basket, right? Click below to have the chef basket, right? So we'll put the chef basket link right here under our video, okay? And we can put our video, our uh, chef basket up here as well. Now the cool thing about CPA marketing, especially with these as seen on TV things, is they are after customer acquisition, which means we get paid more, okay? So you might sell a chef basket for $19 or something like that, and you might actually get paid 21, 22, or $25 to sell that. Right, so you're actually getting paid more than the thing cost. Now obviously, if you're selling this and you get 25 bucks every time someone gets this, you're gonna make a lot more than with AdSense usually. Okay, another way, get a different color here, is through like ClickBank or something. Right, so you could have ClickBank. Now a lot of people misunderstand the way that ClickBank works. Now with ClickBank, what you're doing is you're selling a digital product. Okay, so if my video, right, the traffic comes in, they watch my video, if my video is about how to make Olive Garden sauce, right, then what I could do is I could go to ClickBank, see if there's like a, a recipe offer that teaches, you know, restaurant secret recipes or something, and I can put that here as well, right? So the idea is to get the content consumed. Now the way you're getting paid with AdSense, you are getting paid by Google. Your check comes from Google, you get it from Google, they handle everything. The CPA marketing, what you do is you sign up for what we call a CPA network, right? This is a, like a house where they have all these offers. So they'll have like as seen on TV, they'll have like a recipe toolbar, right? That's one of my favorites. I've made a lot of money with a recipe toolbar. I say, hey, if you like my recipe videos or my recipe articles or my recipes on my site, then you should check out the recipe toolbar. Now the recipe toolbar is awesome because it's free for the user. So give it away, you say, hey, get the free recipe toolbar, and I get paid like $3 every time someone downloads it. And there's no funny business going on. They just basically wanna give away recipes and run advertisements and things like that. So it's really cool, right? And you can put that toolbar wherever you want. Uh, you can put like a little drop down box that says, you know, find your recipe, uh, and you can put meat, chicken, fish, or whatever. And the job of this content, the job of your blog is to get people people to click to the things that make you money. Because the more clicks you get, the more money you are going to make if you have the right offer, right? So that's why I'm not big on auto-generated blog content and stuff like that, because I want my content to lead to stuff that makes money. I don't just want content for content's sake, right? So this is a basic overview of affiliate blogging. You get your traffic, whatever you do, Facebook, Google, you know, ads, whatever you have, paid traffic, Okay, you get those people to your blog. You get them to consume your content, 
and then you link them to what makes you money. Now, check it out. Go to blogprofitnetwork.com. Click the link below if you're watching this on YouTube. Check it out. Tons of webinars, tools, tricks, plugins, and everything to help you make money online blogging. Thanks again for watching. I'm Marcus. Visit the site, and I'll see you in the next video.